Norway, a country in northern Europe that occupies the western half of the Scandinavian peninsula, is famous for its dramatic natural landscape. Despite Norway's natural beauty, its rugged terrain poses formidable obstacles to travel. A simple 1,100-kilometer journey from Kristiansand in the south to Trondheim in the north, via the west coast, is far from straightforward. It takes a staggering 21 hours, requiring seven ferry crossings, an experience that is not only time-consuming, but also dependent on the whims of nature. The West Coast, home to one-third of the country's population, is particularly challenging to navigate. It's carved by over a thousand fjords. These beautiful waterways are a natural barrier, complicating road travel. The path is not just long, but also unpredictable. Weather conditions can shift rapidly and dramatically, with snow, high winds and high waves often leading to road closures and ferry cancellations. For those living along this coastline and those who wish to traverse it, the journey can be an arduous test of patience and endurance. The reality is that the country's transportation system has been sculpted by its terrain, relying heavily on a network of ferries to connect communities separated by the fjords. But these ferry crossings, while crucial, are a significant source of delay and uncertainty. Unfavorable weather conditions can lead to cancellations, adding further unpredictability to travel times. In essence, the awe-inspiring beauty of Norway's landscape that draws admiration is the very factor that complicates travel within its borders. This is a paradox that Norway is seeking now to resolve with its biggest project ever. In the face of these challenges, Norway has embarked on a fascinating and unusual mega-project that is turning heads worldwide. This grand initiative, capturing the attention of engineers and architects, is designed to transform the country's travel system and eliminate the geographic barriers that have long defined the Norwegian experience. The cornerstone of this initiative is the world's first floating highway, a groundbreaking concept being pioneered by the Norwegian Public Roads Administration. Known as the Coastal Highway Route E39, this project is an audacious attempt to revolutionize Norway's transportation system. This highway will redefine connectivity along the west coast, a region that has long been isolated due to its rugged terrain and fragmented by fords. The Coastal Highway Route E39 is meticulously designed to drastically reduce the 21-hour travel time between the cities of Kristiansund in the south and Trondheim in the north, and many other routes. The project aims to accomplish this by replacing the existing seven ferry crossings with a combination of bridges, tunnels, and the innovative new submerged floating tube bridges. This system will cut travel time in half, bringing communities closer together, fostering economic growth, and allowing for a smoother, more predictable journey. To truly appreciate the magnitude of this project, it's essential to understand Norway's historical and cultural backdrop. A country located on the northern outskirts of the European continent, Norway has always been geographically unique, which has shaped its people and their way of life. Bordered by Sweden, Finland, and Russia to the east, and the Barents, Norwegian, and North Seas on other sides, Norway's terrain is defined by the Fennoscanadian Shield's hard bedrock. This granite-formed, heat-and-pressure-resilient land is one to two billion years old, shaping an intricate landscape of fjords, mountains, and rugged coastlines that make travel a formidable challenge. A central part of this mega-project is the engineering marvel known as the Submerged Floating Tube Bridges. This innovative concept is poised to transform the way we conquer geographical barriers. The SFTB, designed to withstand deep and wide fjords, will be submerged underwater, reducing the main sea load and avoiding the complications of surface traffic and harsh weather. Tethered to the seabed for stability, these two bridges represent a pioneering solution to a centuries-old problem. Despite its groundbreaking nature, this project is not without its challenges. The scale of the coastal highway route E39 is unprecedented. The construction of floating tunnels is a difficult task requiring precision, innovative engineering, and an enormous budget estimated to be over $47 billion. The project also involves the daunting task of replacing existing ferry crossings with bridges and tunnels, each presenting their unique engineering hurdles. As of today, the E39 highway project has made remarkable strides, with about 11% of the work completed. Guiding this progress is a strategic prioritization rooted in socio-economic considerations. According to project manager Tor Asklen, an expert of fjord crossings, risk management, and sustainable infrastructure, the sections of the project that promise the most socio-economic benefits are likely to be prioritized. The economic implications of this mega-project are profound. 
the western coast of Norway, which currently generates approximately 60% of the country's export value, stands to benefit enormously from a fluid connection. This coastal highway, stretching from Kristiansand in the south to Trondheim in the north, could unlock unprecedented economic opportunities for towns and cities along the route, making them significantly more accessible and appealing for commerce and tourism. The existing E39 highway, despite its discontinuity due to fjord crossings, is an integral part of the expansive European road network. Its E prefix signifies its European association, linking various towns and cities along Norway's western coast. However, the highway is currently marred by the necessity of numerous ferry crossings, disrupting a seamless and uninterrupted journey. The vision for the future E39 highway is ambitious and transformative. Once completed, this project will redefine Norway's transportation landscape. The highway will become a continuous route, allowing vehicles to drive from Trondheim in the north all the way down to the western coast of Kristiansand and even Oslo in the south. This fluidity of travel will be further augmented by the option to stop at all major coastal cities along the way, enhancing the connectivity and unity of the country. The audacious solution to replace the current ferry crossings lies in the realm of cutting-edge engineering. The Coastal Highway Route E39 project proposes an array of innovative structures, including floating bridges, submerged floating tunnels, and conventional tunnels to circumnavigate the rugged terrain and deep fjords. One of the most significant challenges posed by Norway's terrain is the depth and breadth of its fjords, some of which reach depths of over a kilometer and span several kilometers wide. The Submerged Floating Tube Bridge, or SFTB, is a proposed solution for these fjords. The concept involves constructing tube-like tunnels that float in the water, anchored to the fjord bed or tethered to pontoons on the surface. This groundbreaking approach allows vehicular traffic to cross over without being affected by weather conditions, while also allowing free passage for ships. Each fjord along the E39 presents unique challenges, necessitating unique solutions. For example, the Songnye Fjord, the deepest and widest fjord on the route, might require a combination of floating bridges and SFTBs due to its immense size. The Halsa Fjord and Sula Fjord, notorious for strong currents and depth, are also being considered for SFTB technology. Several projects are already being planned or underway. The Bjornfjorden Floating Bridge is one of them, designed to stretch across five kilometers of water, making it the longest of its kind in the world. This feat of engineering will use tension leg platforms, technology borrowed from offshore oil installations to stay stable. Another ambitious project is the Rogfast Tunnel, said to be the longest and deepest undersea road tunnel in the world. It aims to replace the current ferry crossing between Mortavika and Arshvagen, reducing travel time significantly. These impressive initiatives, while promising, come with their set of challenges. Concerns regarding the impact on marine life, the structural integrity of the tunnels in a highly dynamic marine environment, and safety in terms of ventilation and evacuation in case of emergencies are being meticulously studied and addressed. Each successful solution is not just a victory for Norway, but for engineering and innovation worldwide. Safety is paramount in a project of this magnitude and complexity. Rigorous safety tests and risk management strategies are being employed to ensure that the Coastal Highway Route E39 is not only feasible, but also secure for the millions who will travel on it. Potential risks like fires, explosions, and collisions within the floating tunnels are taken into account, with extensive studies and simulations being conducted to establish preventative measures and effective response strategies. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration, the body overseeing the project, has been proactive in its risk management approach. It's working in close collaboration with a number of Nordic universities and research institutions, pulling a wealth of knowledge and experience to address the myriad technical challenges. This includes studying the structural dynamics of floating tunnels, the impact on marine life, and the specifics of tunnel ventilation and emergency evacuation. This research has wider implications beyond the boundaries of Norway. The insights gained from constructing the world's first floating highway could significantly influence the future of global road systems, presenting potential solutions to challenges faced in other parts of the world with similar geographic constraints. Moreover, the successful implementation of the floating tunnels could pave the way for their use in other infrastructural contexts, like railways or pedestrian traffic. Thus, the E39 project isn't just a game-changer for Norway. It has a potential to redefine infrastructure development and risk management, setting new standards for engineering projects around the globe. 
This collaborative effort truly embodies the spirit of innovation and the relentless pursuit of progress that defines our era.